Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and in this video we'll, we'll be deriving the electric field at the center O of a hemisphere which has a uniform surface charge density of sigma. Okay, so first of all by symmetry we can easily see that the electric field will be along the positive y direction and the reason for that is let's say if there was a component of electric field in the rightward direction let's say. If you rotate this hemisphere by 180 degrees then this rightward electric field should now be in the leftward direction. Whereas if you observe the charge distribution it is still unchanged, right? If you rotate a hemisphere by 180 degree, the charge distribution is not going to change, which means there is only one possibility that the horizontal electric field component must be zero and only the vertical component must remain. Now, let's say we take a small patch of area DA on the surface of the hemisphere, then the electric field due to this patch would be in this direction. And let's say its magnitude is some DE. And let's say the angle DE vector makes with the Y axis is alpha. Now, the magnitude of DE is simply one by four pi epsilon naught, the charge of the element that is sigma multiplied by dA divided by the distance squared which is r squared right so now as we only have to sum up all the components along the y-axis the net electric field is simply going to be the integral of dE cos alpha right because that's a component along the y direction and now if you simplify the expression a bit you'll get sigma by 4 pi epsilon naught r square times integral of dA cos alpha now this integral of dA cos alpha is a pretty interesting term now if you pr project the dA area onto the flat surface of the hemisphere then the small area element that you get on the surface is actually dA cos alpha right because because this is uh, the da element so as this is the da da vector horizontal projection of this area is simply going to be da cos alpha all right so now if you observe something as the as da cos alpha is simply the projection of this area on the flat surface of the hemisphere if you integrate throughout the hemisphere what you'll get is the area of this flat surface so integral of da cos alpha would simply turn out to be pi r squared and if you carry out the calculations you'll get the electric field on the center of a hemisphere as sigma divided by 4 epsilon naught. So that was it for this video guys. If you have any doubts, you can comment down below and thanks for watching.